uh, like it would start in the spring and carry right through into the school season. And then, of course, our our minor softball association, I, I don't even recall if that's what it was called back then, but we had what was called a church league. And um, that you would play for one of the church teams. There was St. Mark's, St. Vincent, St. Andrew's, and Grace United, I believe. I don't can't recall any other teams. Um, uh, but like I said, most of it was... Um, was softball and uh, we got lots of experience and then we went on to these um, what I'd call house league church teams and um, we'd play our little league games at Parliament Oak School and St. Vincent and Virgil and Virgil would have a team and so would Queenston and we'd play all those uh, throughout the year and uh, somehow I think have um, uh, you know a championship game I don't remember too much about that but the big thing for us was what they called the uh, the provincial playdowns at that time were, were run by an organization which I th still think is around. It's called OASA, which is the Ontario Athletic Softball Association. And they would start uh, their playdowns uh, later in the summer. And uh, what the, the, the coaches would do is they'd pick uh, three or four players from each team that they thought were the best and they'd put together what they'd call a, a travel team or an A team, and you represented Niagara on the Lake, and you went in the provincial playdowns. And our first, uh, and they had different levels. Um, I think they had A, B, C, and things like that. But Niagara on the Lake always played A. 